He's a bachelor, lifelong bachelor. Why we're not exactly sure, and and given the era that the film takes place in, could be anything. <laughs> we really don't know. But we suspect it's probably just because he's a hard-working guy, a ladies' man, and just kind of never settled down with a girl that was as good as his sister Rose because he really has put her on a tremendous sort of uh, Catholic pedestal of Mary Magdalene, practically. All these dominoes are sort of set up this perfect community, this sort of perfect arrangement, the self-belief that if we all just believe it, it's true. And then somehow it starts to fragment and fall apart. And of course, at the core of it is this terrible, rotten, utter immorality that's actually taking place, which just goes to show you that it is all artifice. It is all just a construct to contain people's emotions and baser pleasures and desires and, and, and avarice. Mitch's attitude is Nikki should just be having, you know, fun all the time and be a happy kid. And, and he's so disappointed that he's not. Sitting around between shots, he's kind of nonplussed, you know. He's kind of, you know, he can joke with him a little bit, goof around a little bit. But he's not there uh, on tender hooks, you know, just nervous about what he's got to accomplish. And, and George, being a great director, knows just how to communicate and, and understands the key of working with, with the child is let the child be a child, you know. And how Noah manages to broker those, those more mature and complex emotions accurately, like I said, I think that's really just a gift. George has a fantastic sense of humor, and the Coen brothers have a fantastic sense of humor. A dark one on both their parts, but it's based on a love of humanity and the human condition that you're able to sort of dismantle it and want to show all of its warts and sores and fissures and, and darkness at the same time as it's mixed in there with the, the aspirations, perhaps, you know, that we all have. And George and, and, and the Coen brothers, I think, are really on the same page.